out here in the field again for another cab cam and nice to get things planting ahead of the coming rain showers. Joel Penorwood here for Ohio AgNet. This cab cam brought to you by the folks at Home and Incorporated in the cab with Andy Detweiler here of Champaign County. Andy, thank you so much for letting us be out here with you. Yep. How's planting going? You've got a lot done compared to several other farms in Ohio. Yeah, we've been very fortunate. Uh, underlaid with gravel the way we are, we can take the rain quite a bit, but uh, we also dry out when it gets dry. But but uh, yeah, we've been getting it in. We've had uh, one field where we had to go around several spots, but uh, we just got that field finished. But uh, we got uh, 160 acres left to plant of corn, and then we'll be finished with corn. Corn field, we're in here today. Uh, how's this field treating you? Uh, this field's pretty good. It's probably one of our tougher fields that we have that we farm, but uh, it'll average out pretty well. Average is very good on it, so it's just management and all that uh, takes care of us. So. Yeah. 30 inch rows, uh, what depth do you like to plant at? We're right at right at two inches and uh, we're shooting for 34,000 seeds per acre. As far as a burn down prescription, have you guys had time to go through much of uh, spraying this year? Just we trying have, to get in things. This field has not been sprayed this year and it was not sprayed in the fall. That's the reason it looked pretty tough. Uh, it got wet this fall and we didn't get any in here. And then uh, it's been wet this spring, and then we had trouble with the sprayer. And hopefully it'll be back together tomorrow, and we'll be despraying. But uh, this field was not burnt down. And Andy, on this planter, we're always talking about attachments and different adjustments. Closing wheels, what do you guys decide to go with? Uh, we have the spike closing wheels. Um, we like those real well. And then we're dragging the uh, chain behind it, the three-quarter twist chain. And then we've got... Uh, you had our road cleaners on the front, and uh, with just uh, oh, we have a turbo cutter then right between the uh, right between the the uh, road cleaners. Brings things together nicely for you. Have you ever had to, to deal with any uh, problems about sidewall compaction? Uh, not really. Um, that's why we like the spike closing wheels on that. We are running quite a bit of down pressure and uh, just to hold everything where we've got it and the spike closing wheels really help out with the sidewalk compaction. Get things turned around and you were telling me you think auto steer is probably one of the greatest inventions uh, in farming. Auto steer is great, especially for me. Uh, I've got time to, to uh, do other things and pay attention and I don't have to be steering the steering wheel while I'm doing it. So it uh, makes it very well for me. Uh, doing everything with one foot here, so works out very well for me. And Andy, let's go ahead and jump into that part of the conversation. You do have uh, some different challenges than many farmers here. And you were on agriculture many years ago with Ed Johnson. Talked about that when you were a younger person. If you could, tell us about how this all came about. Uh, when I was two years old, I fell into a grain auger, reached in for some wheat, and took my arms off. And about two weeks after that, they said that I started using my feet for stuff in the hospital. And now that's what I'm doing. Been using my feet for, uh, let's see, 45 years now. And you don't let so, it slow you down? No, I'm not. It takes me a little longer to do a few things, but I, no, I don't let it slow me down. Is there anything you're not able to do? Uh, basic things. Climb a straight ladder, like up the side of a van. But uh, there's various things. But, you know, there's always things that everybody can't do. So we just take that with a grain of salt and we go on with it. We figure things out. You get any surprising looks, reactions to, to people who are, are see you doing work every day? Oh yeah, uh, go through the drive-through. That's always funny. Kids, kids working at the McDonald's, uh, driving down the road the tractor. You can definitely see that I have my foot on the steering wheel when I'm driving down the road. Get all kinds of looks, but uh, it's fun. You know, we have a lot of fun with it. We make a lot of jokes about it and. We just have a good time with it, you know. This is the way I am, so we just take her, take it the way it goes. How do you use a cell phone? Well, normally I have it in my shirt pocket, but I just pull it out like this, and then I can use my lip or whatnot to to dial it or to set it here, or I can just set it down here on the floor, and I can do it down here on the floor also. That's awesome. But uh, I like to use speakerphone a lot. That's a lot handier for me. But. Uh, no, it works out just fine. Okay. When you want to do something, you normally are going to you're going to figure something out. Right. So. Right. Yeah. 
and that's what I've done all my life is I've figured stuff out. You know, when this happened to me in 1972, you know, nobody knew, nobody could teach you how to do what I'm doing. And people want to know how long it's taken to learn to do this. I'm still learning every day different ways to do things and handier ways for me to do things. So, still learning. And in the comment section and in the description here in the video, we're going to put a link to his YouTube channel, The Harmless Farmer. And you, you like to tell people the story of what you're doing. Yeah, we make, uh, we make YouTube videos um, just showing people the way I do things. Um, just everyday farming things, working on equipment, uh, driving tractors, whatever comes up. That's what we make the video on. I try to put up one a week, maybe two every now and then. So we're actually filming today for one. So hopefully it'll be up Saturday morning. Brings up the conversation of, of safety on the farm since you've been there, uh, done that, been through the heartache of that. And unfortunately, you know, the, the recent passing of a local man here near Urbana in a farming accident. You know, what do you tell people about safety? You know, you just got to take your time um, right now. And I don't know for, I don't know the facts on what happened over there, but uh, people are in a hurry right now because it's getting late and uh, take your time, uh, pay attention. Um, can't stress that enough. You know, we're going to get this done. And if we don't, we've got ways to take care of it if we don't get it done. So take your time and pay attention. And your loved ones will love you for it. So this past Monday, transitioning back to the, to the farming perspective, 4% uh, crop progress complete around Ohio. About what percent would you say uh, you guys are complete with right now? Uh, we're probably, we're half finished, probably 50, we're 45%, somewhere in there. Well, we haven't planted any beans yet, so. But soon, you guys wanna get going with that pretty quick? We do. Uh, Dad and Uncle John, they're chopping it to bit for me to get this done so they can get the planter switched over to beans and get beans in the ground. So we'll see how we can, we'll see how we come along and get it going here. Well, good luck to you and uh, best of luck. Stay safe out here and uh, as the planting season continues for you guys. Thank you very much. Andy Detweiler, farmer here in Champaign County outside of Urbana, joining us for this cab cam, trying to get ahead of the rain clouds. This is brought to you by the folks at Home Incorporated. More information online at homeandinc.com. I'm Joel Penorwood for the Ohio Ag Deck. Hello, this is Dale Averman with Holman Incorporated. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching the, uh, the cab camp for the spring of 2019. Today we're going to talk about manure handling. Uh, we've got a few pieces behind me here that uh, will help you get your job done uh, this spring or this fall. And I know the past few months have been uh, pretty wet, so I'm sure there's uh, some manure and stuff out there that needs to get hauled before uh, you plant this season. Give us a call. We'd be more than happy to work with you and uh, see if we can't help get your, uh, your manure pits and holding barns cleaned out. Holman Inc., your first choice in manure handling and drag lining equipment.